So is it accurate to say that in your interview, President Biden retained and disclosed classified materials as a means to bolster his image as a presidential figure? And I'm asking you for yes or no's here because our time is so limited. I believe words to that effect are in my report. So the answer is yes. Would you agree that President Biden's intent to showcase his legacy provides a motive for his actions concerning classified materials? Yes it or no? It is one of the motives uh, addressed in the report. Yep. To showcase his legacy. Is it accurate to quote your report that classified documents were found in, quote, badly damaged boxes in his garage near a collapsed dog crate, a dog bed, a Zappos box and an empty bucket? Is that correct? Those words do appear in the report. So that's correct. The answer is yes. Are these secure locations to store classified documents? They are not. OK, so we got a former vice president who is established to have willfully, purposefully retained classified documents in order to highlight his political stature and show his stature as a presidential figure. We have a former vice president who stored classified documents in very unsecured places. We have a former vice president who will not suffer any consequences for all of these actions, all because we say, well, he's a well-meaning, forgetful old man. In the discourse exchanged between Representative Jeff Van Drew and special counsel Robert Hur, a foundational motif of accountability and genuineness emerges, delving into realms concerning the subjective nature of moral conduct and the quest for the essence of political deeds. Central to this discourse, is Representative Jeff Van Drew's assertion that Joe Biden mishandled confidential documents, casting a shadow of potential ethical lapses or impropriety. Representative Jeff Van Drew's argument centers on the pursuit of moral transparency and responsibility within the corridors of political influence, confronting ethical quandaries while striving to uphold the sanctity of democratic institutions. By holding Joe Biden answerable for his deeds, Representative Jeff Van Drew's inquiry sheds light on perceived incongruities or deficiencies in the conduct of his duties as a public figure. In contrast, Special Counsel Robert Hur's response embodies a cautious stance towards legal proceedings, refraining from definitive judgments in the absence of substantial evidence, notwithstanding the gravity of the accusations. This exchange provokes reflections on the integrity and trustworthiness of political figures, as well as the openness and answerability of governmental positions, essential elements for safeguarding public confidence.